What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the all new tinted moisturizers from Apricus Skincare. And to start off here, let's answer a few questions about these things, starting most importantly with what the hell is a tinted moisturizer? And well, I'm super glad you asked. You see, a tinted moisturizer is a moisturizer that is tinted. First things first too, this is not makeup. It's not makeup. It's not anything like that. It's not meant to change the look of your face. In other words, it's not meant to be something you put on to alter the appearance. It's meant more to actually blend in so much that no one even knows you have it on. Beyond that though, what's it good for? It's good for fine lines once again, reducing inflamed acne, minimizing dark circles, fading acne scars, things like that. So it's got actually a lot of purposes. As of now too, Apricus offers two different hues for their tinted moisturizers with more on the way, I'm told. I'm told they got a lot of different hues coming, but the two they have now is light and medium. For my skin tone, the light was actually too light. It didn't really have any effect. You can see it on my hand here. It just kind of blends right in, which on one hand is really good, but for actually demonstrating an effect, showing you guys a little bit of color here that it provides, it didn't really work out. So I went over to the medium, which for me, I think really demonstrates the effect really well. You can see when I repeat the test, putting it on my hand, you see right away that it shows up for one, it shows up and then it begins to blend in, which is also what I want to show you with this test how easy it is to spread this around and how little you actually need to cover a large area. You can see how it spreads really nicely on my hands here just basically by rubbing it in. You're not adding any more. You're just distributing it all over the skin. Now though to give you an even deeper look at this I am going to enlist the help of my best friend Josh. He's in town visiting from his duty station in the Air Force and I thought it would be super fun to test this out on him. Here's a good before shot showing in detail his face with nothing on it at all. There's nothing applied to his face here, just bare skin and all its lovely glory. Now though, he is going to add a dab of the moisturizer onto the different parts of his face there, being careful not to add too much. I had him use the medium toned one as well because that did show up better on his skin tone just like it did mine. You can see initially the moisturizer is white as it just sits on the skin and looks normal. Really, it looks normal at first, but when you begin massaging it in, then the tint begins to come out a bit and from there, you just need to make sure you get it all over and worked in completely which really isn't hard. This, this isn't hard to do. This is his first time using a moisturizer like this and he didn't have any issues with it at all using the instructions I gave him of using small amounts, working it all the way into the skin and making sure not to miss any spots. <laughs> Here's one more look now at the before shots on my best buddy here. So you can see that one more time. And then here's the after. You can see it's not a huge change, but that's the point here. This isn't makeup. Once again, it's not meant to change the way you look. It's meant to even out your skin, reduce certain imperfections, things like that. One thing it's also good for that I want to mention here is circles under the eyes. Real quick, I'm going to give you a look at how it does this on my face now and pay particular attention to the spots under my eyes, which I have to say I never noticed much before. So that was cool. There's nothing like getting another point on the insecurity chart, but take a good look at it. And now that I've used it, take another look at how it affects my face. Once again, it's nothing mind blowing. It's not supposed to be, but I do think there's enough of a difference that you can see it and get some benefit from it. On top of that, I can tell you the moisturizer is nice and matte once you work it in. It's not greasy. It doesn't make my face feel oily or anything like that, which is really good. That's something that I actually struggle with a lot. In the end here now, this was a first for me. I'm new still to skincare period. I'm super new to skincare, but I'm definitely new to something like a tinted moisturizer. And I didn't really know how I was going to feel about it before I tried it or how I'd look with it on. But I think now that I've gone through it, tested it out, used it, had my best friend use it, I have to say, I think I was being a little overdramatic about it. I really, it's, it's really not like what I thought. It just adds a light tint onto the skin that really blends in and just evens things out. And really, I have to say, I can see a difference when I do use it overall. So this is something that I think I'm going to continue to use like the rest of the Apricus line. If you would though like to check out this for yourself, you can find a link to it in the description along with a discount for you. That's good for any of the products, including these moisturizers I showed you today. So if you are interested in checking this out, head on over there and give those a look. That's it though for this episode. Thank you so much for checking this out with me today. Make sure you do the usual for me. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe being the biggest one. Of course, that's a huge help to me. Thank you so much for that. As always, take it easy. I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, drop it down. Good. We don't.
have to drop it down slowly. <laughs> you don't have to drop it down slowly. All right, and drop it out. Oh, wait, you could. <laughs> what do you mean? You could just take it down. Oh. <laughs>